introduction to Harandi. We call ourselves a Youth Employment Accelerator, which is a fairly long, mouthy word uh, for what we do. Essentially what we're trying to do is we're trying to find young unemployed South Africans and get them work opportunities with well-known brands in South Africa. And typically what we do is we focus on youngsters who have only a matric. <coughs> so whilst we do deal with a portion of the population that are graduates, our main focus and our original reason for being was to access matriculants and try and get them into, into work. Um, we, as you've alluded to, we were set up by a company called Yellowwood Social um, Investments and um, they own a significant shareholding in Nando's, I'm sure everyone knows Nando's, clientele, direct access which is a call centre down in the Cape, um, in Hollard, um, and I'm TV show. thank you, um, TV show. So they hold a significant uh, shareholding in those in those companies, and essentially what they wanted to do was they wanted to take a look at why those companies were struggling with getting people into entry level positions. So it's it's quite an, it's quite an interesting point of departure because when you think about how many youngsters are coming out of matric how many people we have in South Africa looking for jobs, the fact that companies are turning around and either saying, well, we're not getting who we want and therefore not filling those positions or just not filling those positions, you have to start asking questions around why that's happening. Mm -hmm. And that's precisely what Yellowwood Social Investment started to do, was ask the question around what's happening at an entry level, um, at that entry level band in organizations. And really what was going on on the call centre side was there was a, an organic, what had happened was there was a sort of organic journey that companies had, had begun. What they realised was if, if a youngster could hold work for one year, they were, they were a little bit more risk free. Mm. Then candidates who came in who didn't have one year's work experience. And so what they had begun to do was search for people who had one or more years work experience. So anybody who came out of work, um, came out of school, had no work experience and was looking for a work, was finding it increasingly different, difficult to access jobs that they shouldn't have found difficult to access because actually a matriculant with a certain amount of training can come out of school and do those jobs. So there was this, there was this sense that this could be done differently and we could revert back to putting matriculants into entry level positions if we took a look at why companies needed that one year's work experience and what could be done. On the Nando side, they were saying, well, to date, we haven't, we haven't adopted a, a, a truly scientific approach to recruitment. It's been a referral network into our restaurants. So if we, we lost a staff member, we would ask people in the restaurant, do you have a brother, a cousin, a sister, whatever the case may be, can they come in? Nando's would train them up and put them into the restaurant. And there was a feeling in Nando's that some, so much of their business was orientated around the entry level staff that they wanted to take a far more scientific approach to that. And Nando's was our point of departure, but what we've learned across the hospitality and retail industry is that there does tend to be um, less of a scientific approach to getting people in at an entry level. Um, so and Nando's really is a good model for, for taking a look industry-wide at what's going on. The consequence of not having a scientific approach to recruitment is that you get very high churn in the system. So even if youngsters get into the system, they don't last in the system. And the, the, therefore the proposition around Harambi as well was not only to look at what are these barriers to youngsters finding entry level work positions, but what are the barriers to staying in work and creating some form of career from your first job opportunity and how do we address that. So Harambi is focused not only on bridging the gap between finding a young unemployed South African who's isolated for a number of reasons which we'll discuss in detail and a work opportunity. It's also about bridging the gap between finding that youngster and understanding what business wants and bridging the gap around that. Um, and then it's also about how do we bridge this gap around retaining individuals. So let's not just put people into jobs because it's only helpful to a degree. Let's keep people in jobs so that they can create careers out of those jobs.